MusicBox is a music browser that creates maps of music libraries. In the center of the screen, you see a library of about 500 songs. Each song is represented by a colored circle. The location of each of these songs is determined by a principal components analysis of the song's acoustic features. This analysis results in songs being placed close to each other if they sound similar, and farther apart if they sound more different. Right now, the song circles are colored according to genre. This genre comes directly from the song's metadata. It's not being inferred from the song's acoustic properties. Color coding the genre in this way lets us see how acoustically distinct different genres are. In this library, classical music lays almost completely along the right-hand side. It is acoustically distinct from the other genres in the library. You can also see that rap music lies at the opposite side of the map. It sounds very different from classical music. In the center area, you see a mishmash of genres. This is where rock music sits, overlapping with dance, pop, country, and the leftmost edge of the classical group. This makes sense when you think about how diverse the rock genre can be. The light gray circles are songs whose genre has not been assigned a color on the map. What are the light gray pieces that lie near the classical music cloud, but are not colored like the classical pieces? Let's take a closer look. It turns out that these are all ambient and new age tracks. These light gray tracks sound similar to the classical tracks around them. Likewise, the light gray tracks in the left half of the map are 50 Cent, Busta Rhymes, definitely rap sounding artists like the tracks in their local area. And let's listen to this light blue rock track that's sitting over with the classical tracks. Upon listening, it becomes clear why this rock piece is located over here on the map. If I wanted to select the rap sounding portion of my library, I could do that by using the rectangle selection tool. This creates a playlist containing all the songs inside any rectangle I draw. Another available tool is the path selection tool. For example, if you wanted to make a playlist that starts with heavy hitting rap, but transitions smoothly to new age music, you could draw a path defining that transition. And now you have a playlist that does exactly that. Let's say that I was looking at this music library for the first time. What would I listen to to get an idea of what music is inside? The tour function selects a song list that spans the acoustic space, demonstrating the variety of music inside. When I click on a song, it plays, and I see a little visualization in the bottom right of the screen that shows what the song sounds like. With the song playing, I can use the map to interact with my music library more intelligently. Here's a smart shuffle function called Wander From Here. When I click it, I get a random walk, starting with the current song. I can even adjust the step size for that random walk and get a shuffle that allows for less smooth acoustic transitions between the songs. You might be wondering what kind of acoustic features MusicBox is using to organize this music library. They're all listed along the left side of the window. These features range from familiar descriptions like song length, tempo, and loudness, to more quantitative descriptions of timbre and rhythm. I can turn these on and off, and the music library is remapped to reflect the change. I can also go the other way. I can turn off all features and map the library only according to features I'm interested in. Here's the same music library mapped along one axis, song duration. Here's the shortest song in my library, and here's the longest.
I can add a second axis. Let's choose tempo. Now the short and slow songs are down here, and the short and fast songs are up here. Music Box allows us to display the songs as album art, or as visual summaries of their content. It also has full support for playlist manipulation and playback. You know you're my favorite white boy, right? Damn, we gotta go with something to eat, man. I'm in the motherfucker. Hey, yo, man. Damn,